this is Carolyn Wilhelm from Wise Owl Factory. I'm going to make a table and I'm going to edit it for use as a calendar using Word. So I'm going to remove the words. I'm going to insert a table and let's see one two three four five six seven I want seven rows across because it's going to be like a calendar. So let's say it's going to be September 2012. What I'm going to do is I only need um, one starting there. So I click on home. I'll pull this down a little for you. I click on home and right here is, is my little editing borders box and I'm going to pull down. These are all the choices I have. I start off by saying no border but of course that would look funny on my calendar. So then I'm going to add the bottom border. I get just the bottom border. Then I highlight it again and I'm going to have just the right border. There I have one on the top. Okay, now at the bottom there's only one um, number 30 here. So it's the same kind of thing. First of all I remove all the borders and then in this case I only need the left border. Now if I want to decorate with art or something all of these cells will kind of stand in the way of that. So I lay out go to layout merge cells. The table is really there the whole time. It doesn't leave even though you adjust it. So and then I maybe want it on one piece of paper. Um, but that's basically how you do it. If for some reason I don't want those in a row for some other use, I would do the same thing. I would go home I'd click here and say no border, but then that would look funny. So then I would have to click left border, then I would have to click right border, and then I would click bottom border. And then my table could do anything I wanted it to. And that's being funny because of I have it on a couple pages, because um, I have this, these big letters. Okay, so um, I hope that helps. Thank you very much for listening.